What's up guys, Spencer of the Dollars here, welcome back! Today we're going to be doing another one of our rarity battles. We've done three so far, time to do another. It's going to be common versus rare. Which one would you rather be? Which one do you think is going to win? I love rare, this is what I would have chosen. We've had three battles, three different winners. Let's see who's going to win out of Eddie and Elephant Titus. Let's do this! Alright guys, here we go, it's Eddie and Elephant Titus. Now, Eddie is going to be controlling the rare cards. Elephantitis is going to be controlling the commons. Now the problem with common is you've not really got many tanks. Really the Royal Giant is the only one. If you don't like the Royal Giant, you're kind of snookered. He's got brought the Barbarians. Now good job he split those, otherwise he would lose them all to this Furnace. Furnace is a decent card to bring. Oh, and he's brought Edward Frosty Hands. Surprise, surprise, I would imagine we're going to see him in every single rare deck. Probably, maybe we won't see the Dark Goblin in every red deck. I do have a newfound respect for Dark Goblin. It does do a lot of damage, shoots so fast, seen him a lot in clan battles. Here we go, what's going to go with this Dark Goblin? He's gonna, oh, it's the Hog! I'm going to see a Hog, how's he going to defend this? What's he brought to defend? And he's got some Elite Barbs, so he's got Barbs and Elite Barbs. Looks like a pretty much hack, hack, hack deck. Lots of Swords, Barbs, Knight, Elite Barbs, so he's going to have plenty of chances to get rid of a Hog. I wonder what else he's going to have to deal with, though. Oh, he's going to lose a bunch of these Goblins, I think. Gonna lose him to the Dark Goblin and Edward Frosty Hands. Explosion, only one survived. Musketeer, gonna to see Musk. I'm sick of seeing Musketeers. They're in almost every single deck. Probably gonna pick that in every deck as well, I would think. I would imagine. Right, let's see what's gonna happen. How is he actually gonna break through this? I don't know what cards he's gonna... He might be able to try and use the Elite Barbs, but with two buildings, we've got to deal with the Furnace and the Tombstone. Might be a little bit difficult. There's dropped the Tombstone already. Not too worried about that. Trying to defend these... Trying to stop these minions getting onto his tower. It's kind of worked. They're he's, he's kited those across the other side. They're going to die now to the Musketeer. He looks like he's struggling to find a way through. But he might. You never know. These two guys, they're quite good players. Should be all right. Here we go. Elite Barbs. He's going to make it. Elite Barbs. Andy sending a bunch of goblins. What is it? A fireball? Oh, wow. He's managed to get one Elite Barb through. That's doing plenty of damage. That's actually not bad. It's worked out reasonably. It cost him a lot of Elixir to do that. Bad Elixir trade on his part. Probably... Edward Frosty Hands all by himself on the right hand side. Didn't get a golem to go with it. Oh, he's dropped an elixir pump. Final card is an elixir pump for the rare team. Now, is that going to be a mistake? Let's find out. Is he going to be too starved to defend this? No, no, look, there we go. Barbarians going to be absolutely annihilated by this furnace. Is furnace going to get out another couple of fire spirits? No, it's not. He's managed to do it. He's took that furnace almost right the way down, and he's attacked on the right-hand side. Look, he's managed to get three minions onto that tower. Dark Goblin's trying to stop him. He's got it down to 716. He's now taken the lead. Commons are now in the lead. A kind of a desperate fireball, just in case there was any barbarians to defend that hog. No barbarians were placed, so the fireball just took a bit of damage off the tower. Don't know if he's, I didn't see if he hit that cannon or not. He's going on the counter again with some more barbarians. Probably going to see a furnace. Yep, we do. There's the furnace, but it's firing the fi fire spirits the other way. Can this dark goblin kill these barbarians? He really wants to keep this furnace alive if he possibly can. Eight seconds to go. Is this hog going to make it? Seen a cannon last time, and the hog's made it. No, it hasn't. He's dropped the cannon right behind the hog. He just stopped him in the last minute. Surrounded it with goblins. Two six one. Two, his fireball won't do it. I think if. Tournament level fireballs like 229. He can't fireball this tower down. He'd be desperate to take this tower. 716 at the other end. I don't know how he's going to get that. Probably going to have to try with the elite barbs. Oh no, the elite barb turned back, went right around. He's gone, can't get past these buildings though. This is what he's got. Oh, here comes the hog again. As he round to his cannon, there it is. Managed to get the cannon out just in time. Got some minions in to try and stop the hog. Oh, he's just stopped him. He, he's put a good game. He thought the hog was going to hit. The hog did not get a hit off. And they're still hacking it out. They're still slugging away. He's kind of, has he given, oh no, he's going to send the elite barbs. Is it, if he can take down... <laughs> No, they're being kited across by Edward Frosty Hands. He's tried to get rid of this <laughs> musketeer. He's, this is so desperate. I'm trying to keep an eye on that bottom tower in case he, he, he's only got one spell, so he doesn't have anything else to go with this fireball. It's kind of a waste of time in firing it because he, he just needs to get a hog onto it and it's going down. But he doesn't know how to get past this cannon. <laughs> this is hilarious. Here comes the elite barbs. No, nope, there we go. Tombstone. These buildings are snookering him every single time. He can't get through. <laughs> He's dropped a zap. 
managed to get the tower with that zap. Oh, here we go. The fireball has decided to go for it. 32 left on the tower. The hog isn't going to make it. Still clinging on for dear life. What is he going to do? Is he going to quickly drop in? I bet he drops the dark goblin. Yes, he has. He's dropped the dark goblin. One shot and he's done. Down it goes. Nice little maneuver. Didn't have chance to defend against that dark goblin. Nice move there. Rares are in the lead. It's 1-0 to rare versus common. Ding, ding. Round two. All right, guys, round two. So I'm I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is a grudge match now because that was very close. Now, we don't know if either of these two have changed a card or not. They can both change one card if they want. That could make a massive difference. So it looks like we're keeping the furnace. Seems sensible. Keeping the barbarians. Got those to deal with the hog. I'm pretty sure the hog won't be changed. That's, oh, we've got a mini pecker. That's new. New card has entered the arena. It's the mini pecker. Mini Pecker's hacking his way through. One was he one-shotting barbarians? I can't remember if Mini Pecker one-shots barbarians. I guess he does. Not going to get past all this goblin gang though. Still got the goblin gang. Still got the musketeer at the other end. Is this going to change the outcome? Here comes the hog. Have we got that cannon still? Fireball in. I don't think that fireball hit that cannon. I think he missed the cannon with that fireball. I I should probably record these afterwards, but I didn't I didn't quite see that. That might have been a mistake. I think he might have missed that cannon. But it's pretty even right now, guys. Eddie, Elephantitis, Rare versus Common, pretty even. He's splitting his barbs again. I, I guess he has nothing else to place. He doesn't really know what else to do in that position. Probably would quite like to keep those barbs for that hog, maybe, to try and get a counter. Obviously, you don't get any kind of counter built up by having to use the cannon every time. But maybe he's picking his moment. Looks like this Pekka's going to take out these barbs, is it? No, he's not managed to... Oh, it's the Elite Barbs! I thought they were normal barbs! They all got muddled together! The Elite Barbs going to make it through! No, he's just taking down the Furnace. Trying to send in the Goblin Gang now. Musketeer coming... So it looks like he's got rid of the Dark Goblin. I would assume so, otherwise we would have seen it by now. One more card to see from both sides. I think the Dark Goblin is the card that's been switched from Mini Pekka. At the other side... Uh, I think all those cards are the same so far. So I think his final card is his new replacement card. What is it going to be? Has he got a secret weapon? Have the commons got a secret weapon? Could it be the royal giant? Oh, he's dropped in. He's dropped in a uh, elixir, elixir pump. I was going to say a furnace. And there goes the furnace. He's dropped in an elixir pump and a furnace. But look, by dropping in that furnace, he's attracted the elite barbs over to his pump. They've hit a, taken a few dollops of elixir off that. Bit of a mistake to make it. Split the barbs. Is his cannon ready to stop this? <laughs> there we go. Managed to stop that hog. And he's going to get the knight on the hog. All right, this is still pretty even. It looks like they're both having trouble getting to each other's towers. This could go on for a while, guys. Here we go. Goblin gang. Elite barbs up front, trying to tank for the goblin gang. Are we going to get rid of... Yes, they've done nicely. They've got rid of Edward Frosty Hands. If they can... Ta oh, this is... The Look at this push. He's going to get there. No, the fireball's done it, but I think he's going to get this tower. Surely. There's one elite barb on this tower. Three more hits, and this tower's going down. One. Two. Oh, he's down to two. And he's got a zap. Surely he can just zap that with 10 seconds to go. I don't think there's any way Eddie can pull this back. He cannot take a tower in eight seconds. There's going to be a zap at some point. Where is your zap? You're going to need to use it. He's saving it to the last minute. He's just, there we go. He's taking it down. Nicely done. Commons have pulled it back. It's all square. One all. Rare v common. Right, let's go to the decider. Let's see who's going to win this one. Let's see if they're going to change their cards. All right, guys, we're in the decider now. I'm secretly hoping that Rare wins. All right, come on then. Come on, Eddie versus Elephantitis. Let's see what that final card change is going to be. That was pretty even last time. Here we go. Elite Barbs again. Dropping in the Fire Spirits behind. He's dropped a pump straight away. Is he going to pay for that? He might do. And he's... Well, that's that's a pretty good defense with that Valkyrie. He's basically dragged those troops around all over the place. Elite Barb's going straight for his... He was going to go for the tower, changed his mind, went for the pump. Probably a good idea. It didn't take a lot off that pump, actually. Probably didn't even lose maybe even one drop of elixir there. Here we go. The furnace is still here. I don't know what's going to happen this time. I couldn't predict who's going to win. It was close enough last time. Musketeer again. I'm getting sick of it. I can't wait till we do one that doesn't involve rares so we don't have to see a musketeer. I'm sick of musketeer. Cannon. Cannon has saved him many times versus this hog. Is that hog going to get hit? No. Hog's not going to make it. Furnace destroying these barbs. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised we don't see the Royal Giant. I am surprised. Even though I hate the Royal Giant, I'm kind of surprised. Elite Barbs are going to take down this Furnace. That Valkyrie, though. Valkyrie, a good choice. He's put the Valkyrie in here because he knows he's facing Elite Barbs and Normal Barbarians and the Goblin Gang. So Valkyrie was a very good choice. Good addition. Don't know what he took out just yet. 
Valkyrie's not going to get a hit, though. It looks even again. Can't tell who's going to win this. Fire Spirits. Are these, uh, tournament Fire Spirits. One does get a hit. There we go. Smack. If he can get those to keep hitting, eventually he will lose his tower. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Edward Frosty Hand's been destroyed. This looks like he's going to go for a push. Has he got any elixir? Can he back these up with anything? Doesn't look like it. He is at an elixir a disadvantage at the minute. Ele Elephantitis is either going to leave this elixir pump or he doesn't really have anything to take it, to be fair, unless he uses elite barbs and sends them crazy. Probably just going to have to accept that he's behind on elixir. There goes the fireball, destroying a whole bunch of barbarians. Valkyrie's in there helping out. Valkyrie's not going to get a hit either. Still, Eddie's having trouble, even with his rare cards of getting through. You see, if he'd have brought, if he'd have brought the ram, I think that would have been a good card to bring. Now these elite barbs are going to do some serious damage. He's actually split them, splitting them with that ice golem might have not been the greatest idea. Valkyrie couldn't hit them both at the same time. There goes the cannon. Musketeer needs to shoot that cannon. The fireball. He didn't even bother hitting the tower with the fireball. Just wanted to make sure that he took the cannon out. Not entirely sure that was a great idea. 25 seconds to go and still nobody's made a breakthrough as of yet. Have we seen both cards? Okay, we haven't seen all of Elephant Tides' cards. Does he have a secret weapon? Looks like he might actually need one. Valkyrie's going to dis absolutely destroy the Goblin Gang. Lady killed the Goblins. All right. Minions. He's dropped another pump. He likes to have his elixir advantage. Hidden the pump. S can you imagine how much help lightning would be right now? Lightning would just change the outcome of this instantly. Take that pump. Take that furnace. Oh, he's let the musketeer get through. Musketeer's got a few shots off. And these elite barbs have made mincemeat of that furnace and done a bit of damage to that musketeer. But musketeer's behind a hog and a Valkyrie. Is that Valkyrie going to get as far as this tower? Might do after swiping these barbarians. Oh, and the hog's made it. The hog has actually made it this time. Down to 802. Two. Oh my god, he's down to 274. This is looking pretty bad. Still can't get it with a fireball. 229 with a fireball. It's big, It's exactly the same as last time. Exactly the same problem that he's got. This Valkyrie, though, was a great addition. That has changed everything. Valkyrie, a great card in this situation. Dealing with all these spammy troops, all these barbarians. I don't think there's anyone. Any way Elephant Titus can come back from this. He's got to smash his way through a furnace to get to the tower and take 1800 off. Can't be done. Can't be done. Down it goes. And the hog takes it. Hog's taken him down. That is winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Rare has won it. Guys, I'm kind of secretly glad about that. Okay, Rares have won it. So let's take a look at the leaderboard. Here it is. So Rares have now won twice. Rares are actually in the lead. Now I've got a battle with Legendary and I want to kick the ass out of Rares. Let me know in the comments which overall rarity you think is going to win this. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What the hell are you waiting for? Anyway, until the next time, you guys take care.